get yourselves into makeup and wardrobe right away. Makeup! Craft services. We'll break for lunch after we get this shot. Unpredictable. I was working on a movie set in New York City when the police were called regarding a bunch of chickens that were on the loose, when in actuality we were making Hollywood movie magic. One of the best parts of being an animal trainer is I get to take my kids home every night with me. I'm lucky to work with a great team of trainers and staff that truly love, respect, and care for our animal stars. On behalf of everyone here at Universal Animal Actors, have a great time and enjoy the show. And now, please welcome one of Hollywood's top animal trainers from Birds and Animals Unlimited, Miss Amanda Hernandez. Thank you! Wow, hi everyone! Welcome to Universal's Animal Actors. My name is Amanda and this is my friend Juice. And we both work for Birds and Animals Unlimited, a company that's been training animals for movies and television for over 40 years. Now what most people don't know is that many of their favorite animal stars come from rescues. And just like Juice, they got their training right here on this stage in front of a live audience. In a little while, we're going to reveal what it took for Juice to make it on the big screen. So in the meantime, sweetie, you're all set. Off you go. Okay, let's get this show started with a little friend of mine from Ace Ventura Pet Detective and We Bought a Zoo. This is Sparky. Look at there, Sparky. Now we've trained our birds to fly from one person to another. To help demonstrate this, I do need some help from an adult volunteer. Somewhere halfway up in this midsection would be great. Does need to be an adult. Um, let's see, how about there in the lady with the sunglasses? Want to help me out? Yep, go ahead and stand up for me. Please stay there and take out a dollar bill. <laughs> now the reason why I ask her to take out a dollar is that Sparky might feel uncomfortable flying to somebody he doesn't recognize. So as Senior Universal's Evan Almighty, we've trained our birds to fly to a common object. And in this case, it happens to be a dollar. Got a dollar? Great, fold it in half for me. And then fold it in half one more time. Place it between two fingers, extend your arm out straight to your side. Sparky's gonna see that dollar and know exactly where our actress is located. Up just a little bit higher and I do need to have that little boy sit down behind you. Everybody has to have a seat and please stay still. She's gonna find our actress. Stay still ma'am, don't move. Thanks, enjoy the show. <laughs> She's being a good sport. We'll get the dollar back to her. Go ahead and stand up for me again. But this time we are going to make it easier on the bird. Extend both arms out. Now you flap really hard to fly. <laughs> One arm out. Palm facing up like a little landing pad. Sparky's going to gently place the bill in your hand. When he does, just grab it quickly like that. Here we go. Take it on back. Excellent job from 
Sparky. Wallace, that's always a little buddy. Thanks for volunteering. You're all set. Off you go. Hey, look, there's our stage hand. <laughs> Not only do we get to work with cute, adorable birds like Sparky, but sometimes we get to challenge ourselves with something larger, like a bird of prey. As seen in Universal's Lady Hawk, Matthew Broadwood catches this hawk with both precision and grace in a spectacular feat of flight. We'd like to recreate that movie magic right here. Focus your attention to the back of the arena. In the small closed box is a star from 310 to Yuma. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Arrow. <laughs> of the day. Man with that dollar, go ahead and stand up for me again. This time, we're going to send you Arrow. <laughs> no, sit down, tough guy. It is a joke. Yeah, sit. Thanks, Arrow. Thanks, Jeannie. Arrow is a captive bred African auger buzzard, part of the raptor family. A group of birds consisting of hawks, eagles, kites, Falcons, vultures, and owls. We'd like to introduce you to a cousin of arrows in a rare close-up appearance. Please say hello to Olympus and Iris. Iris and Olympus are Eurasian eagle owls. You might recognize them from the Harry Potter series. They play Draco Malfoy's owl. You might also recognize them from the TV series Bones, CSI, and Zoo. And most recently, a Geico commercial. <laughs> Raptors are known for their amazing ability to spot food from a far off distance. Now these birds are not endangered, but many native birds are. We here at Universal ask that everyone please do their part in helping the animals in the wild and in captivity so these majestic animals never become endangered. How about a round of applause for Iris and Olympus? Thanks for bringing them out, ladies. Now, you might have noticed how difficult it was to photograph our birds in flight. To overcome this problem in Hollywood, we use special effects. To demonstrate this, we have a giant fan a green screen, and we're going to bring out one of our stunt birds. This is Pepper, a blue and gold macaw. Pepper's trainer Ariel is going to place her in front of a strong current of wind. At any time, we can swap out the background for a different scene. And to see what it looks like in a film, take a look at the screen. the show is, how do you get your dogs into movies and television? Well, it all starts out with some basic training. To help demonstrate this, please welcome back a star from the movie, The Proposal. This is Juice. Hi, good girl. Good, good. Sit. Good. Stay. Now, Juice was just four months old when she was cast to the role of Kevin alongside Betty White and Sandra Bullock. Stay. Now, before any of our dogs can go on to a movie set, they do need to know some basic behaviors. One of the most important tools we use, hello, sit, good. One of the most important tools, sit, can I begin, can I keep going? Okay, one of the most important tools we use is something called a mark. It's usually a simple circle like this, 